Hello, this is Marbaz here and welcome back to Let's Play European Evil Sally's 4. So, let's continue where we left off. We are still at war with Modena. I could get white piece right now. However, let's get a little bit greedy. If I can hurt them, that's going to help in the long run. Because we'll just end up at war again soon enough. So, the more I can hurt them, the better. I got 40 regiments in my own territory. So, I could probably afford to stay at war for a while. Yes, let's see what we can do. The only issue is that I'm also at war with Timbuktu. I don't have any war score with them. So I can't get a separate deal with them right now. I just don't have the war score for it. But we'll see how it goes. First of all, let's actually attack these guys perhaps. They are not moving. Just need to wait for morale first. I slowed it down to speed 3. Level 17, Admin Tech. I guess I could pick that up. That unlocks a new idea group. I'm not quite sure which idea group I want to go for. I didn't think about that at all. At least not yet. I'll have to consider that. We'll see. I still need quite a few quantity ideas. Hmm. I did finish exploration. I didn't finish humanist or religious. I definitely can't afford any more administrative ideas because I still need to finish humanist and religious. I could go for a second military group or I could go for influence ideas, which aren't too bad. So that's something to consider. I could also go for shade ideas. That might also be nice for me. Most of my income, or at least my number one source of income, is trade. And it will only get bigger. Speaking of trade, let's check our new provinces here in the Malacca trade node. I need some buildings here because I want a larger share of this trade zone. Let's see, buildings, marketplaces, like so. And one more over here. What about this province? Oh yeah, it already has a road network. I could get a post office. That actually makes sense here. Let's grab a post office. Like that. And this island too. Road network. There. How's our share right now? Let's see. Should be pretty good. It's at 26%. Alright then. So. Back to our war. Let's focus on that. The nice thing about the Malacca trade node is that quite a few trade nodes go through Malacca. So then I can start working on some of these other trade nodes. But that's going to happen later. Let's focus on Modena and Timbuktu. That's the important part here. Get money or prestige? Well, I'm at 58 prestige only. Let's pick up prestige. That works for me. Okay. Well, where's that army? It's still there. I'm waiting for my morale. Since... Oh, we got some units incoming. Okay. I need them to attack me here. Or in one of the provinces with a defensive bonus. If they get minus one dice roll, that's going to help me. I could also engage these 15 regiments before that army comes here. That might be a better idea. Yeah, okay, let's do that. I'll kill them really quickly. I will get minus one. Minus two, actually, but it should be fine. I do have military tactics advantage at this point. Since I got level 19 military tech. And they have level 16. And I have new infantry type. So I want to beat them before reinforcements arrive. And they do have a lot of reinforcements. They're not as much war score as I hoped for, but alright. Now, back up or not? I probably should. They got quite a lot of troops incoming. So this might be interesting. One thing I can do is just get a white piece. If it looks like I'm going to lose a major engagement. So I could let them attack me here. And then if it looks like I'm going to lose, I can get white piece right before I lose. Without losing a lot of war score, that is. I'm at 17%. Are you guys moving or what? Yes, you are still moving. My general is pretty decent. Okay, I could try to force them 
or bait them to engage me. That might work too. Oh, okay. Are these guys moving? They are using force march. No, they are just standing there. Okay. I could engage them. They are moving now. I would really prefer them to engage me. So let's see if we can bait them. If I move out of here. They are not moving right now. They are just moving between these two regions. Provinces. 60%. Also. Hmm. Inflation reduction. Advisor. Can I afford that? No, not really. I need a level 1 advisor. I don't have any level 1 advisors available. Get the Diplo power. So. Colony is done. Nice. And that forms the colonial nation. That's what I wanted. Now I can focus on a different area. Like this one. Let's see. How many natives here? 500, 500. Okay, let's colonize this then. And back to our war. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think attacking them would be such a smart idea. Not really. Unless I move around and don't get minus one penalty from river crossing. I could attack through here. That might be better. I can't afford a minus one penalty. I don't think they are going to attack me. At least it doesn't look like it. No, I don't think they are going to attack me. They are just moving back and forth. Well, they will finish the sieges if I wait too long. I think it's best to just attack them. I could attack the 25 and see if the other stack is going to engage me. If I attack through here, I shouldn't get a river crossing penalty. No provinces, I mean, no penalties in this province. Yeah, let's do that then. 60%. Not sure about that idea group yet. Protect against Krakow. Have an army equal or larger than Krakow. That's not going to happen with that kind of force limit. Alright, let's do this. I'll just attack through here and see how that's going to work. I need to hurry up because that other siege will finish soon if I don't. And then they will just merge all these stacks and get almost 70 regiments in one huge stack. We wouldn't want that, would we? No. I hope this siege phase will fail. Yep, it failed. So, let's do this. I need to win this fight. Are the colonies done? Good. Let's keep expanding through here. So, off you go. This is the single most important fight here. I need to win this fight. Yep, they are moving. But no penalty. I need to win this. They will join in. But I might win the fight before that other army can join in. Yep, I won. Nice. Turn that off. Now they are moving. I need them to drop that siege. Nope, they are not going to drop the siege just yet. But they lost their progress. That helps. That's 21% war score. Pretty good. Now, I could engage that stack to the south. I just want to break this army, if possible. I'm waiting for them to move. Now I can engage them again. They are running away. Can I catch them? Mm, yes, I can catch them if I want to. They will bring some reinforcements, but... I'll have some time. Before they arrive there. They are not using force march. Alright, let's do it. No penalties. I will beat this stack. How's the rebellion? 60% revolt risk. And beating that 17 stack should be a formality, but I will get minus 2 penalty. One from the river crossing and other because of the terrain in this province. Still, they only have 17. I can't imagine losing here, especially with military tactics advantage. Nice, so I broke their entire army more or less. Now I can get a lot more war score like this. They didn't have any manpower from what I checked on the ledger in the previous episode. 
So they can't really reinforce very well. They don't have the manpower. I have 100k manpower. So we pretty much won this war. This is mostly a question of how greedy I want to get. I want to grab at least a few provinces from them. That's for sure. Anyway. Turn that off. Now let's split up a bit, but not too much. I'll split them into four stacks. And move around like this. Where's the leader? There he is. Okay. I'll keep my troops close together. Peace offer from Modena? No, I don't think so. Guess why? We're not doing that. Also, I have quite a lot of money. Let's get some buildings. Maybe I should get some forts in these provinces. That sounds like a good idea. I guess I can do that. I imagine we will go to war in the future. Conversion successful, nice. Let's convert one of these. There. Well, now we just need siege progress, but I'll keep an eye on these armies. Their army is not completely gone just yet. Let's check if they have any manpower. They shouldn't. So, Modena. They have 2000 manpower, so their manpower is just gone. They don't have any. They can't reinforce these armies. Okay, I think I can afford to siege one more. I need to re-siege my own provinces. I would normally chase that army, but since they don't really have manpower, there's no need. They might recruit some mercenaries, but whatever, let them do that if they want to. Alright, now we wait for war score and for siege progress. Even if they engage me with the 16, they lose. Peace offer, no. I don't think so. Claim our rival's province. Which one is that exactly? Let's see. This one. I could probably do that. If I want to. I could definitely do that. Might not be a bad idea. What's the reward? Let's see. 25 military power. Okay, I can pick that up. I'll just have to go and actually siege that. Obviously. Getting close to Diplo Power Cup again. I'll just pick up another Diplotech level. It's still three years ahead of time, so not yet. It can wait. Just need to be careful not to cap myself at 999. And let my Diplo Power go to waste. Are they actually going to attack me? Yes, they are going to attack me. Alright. Hey, I don't mind. I'll actually let them do that and then move on Force March. Or are they going to change their mind if I move? Yes. Let them move then. I can move three regiments. These guys are moving east. I think they want to merge their stacks. That makes sense. This army is moving here. Yep, they are going to merge all these stacks. That's fine. We'll beat them. Rebel Uprising, still at 60%. I don't think it will go up. The chance for it to go up is... Oh, 7%? 2.5% revolt risk. Okay. I'll keep an eye on it. 21%. I think I can afford to use Speed 4 for a bit. Because not much is actually happening. There, one siege is done. I'll need to beat these stacks before I go west. Our the siege is done, good. Merge all of these guys. And we'll go attack that big stack. They were going to move in, but they changed their mind again. Come on, hurry up, guys. Truce expired. I don't think I really care about that. No, I don't. Peace offer. Oh yeah, I don't need to be at war with these guys. Can I get anything from them? No, I have zero war score. White piece. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Accept. There's no need to stay at war with them. So done. Can I get Timbuktu out of this war too? Yeah, I can. I could just focus exclusively on Modena. 
Alright, let's focus exclusively on Modena, like that. And now it's just Modena left in this war. Good. Are you guys done with that siege yet? There we go. So let's go beat that stack. That should give us some nice war score. Come on, go, go. There. Let's move. We'll just engage them here. No penalties. That's grasslands. Lose some Diplo power, I suppose. And we should beat that entire stack quite easily. There we go. We beat them right before reinforcements arrived. <laughs> okay. I'll need Force March for this if I want to catch them. Yep, I will catch them there. Like so. Are there any provinces with trade power around here? Not anywhere close, no. Okay. So much for that stack. There no Force March. 41% war score. I need to go siege West Tunguska now that I accepted that mission. That was kind of the whole point of accepting it. Alright, let's just go through here. Beat these guys on the way. Am I still getting war taxes? No, I'm not getting war taxes. Okay, let's get them then. And start a few more buildings. Some trade depots. Back here. Yep. Just start some trade depots. And in this province... Customs house, yep. Well, if I want trade share in this node, I should definitely get that. Back to the front line. So I have to say, I didn't expect this kind of outcome from this war. I thought it's going to be tougher to beat them. Okay, 18 regiments over there. I can beat them on the way, why not? They aren't actually moving. And this... Oh, yeah, they did move. Okay, whatever. Let's go get West Tunguska then. And I can re-siege my provinces on the way. Come on, guys. Chop, chop. What? I lost? Oh. Really? Well, that's Australia. That's technically not me anymore. But I should go help them out. Let's go help them out. I'll grab these. Am I still colonizing this? Yes, I am still colonizing that. Alright. How many natives are there in here? 6,000. That's a bit of a problem then. I can get two more regiments. Okay. Just to beat these rebels. Come on, Australia. Handle your own rebels. Are you moving? Come on. Let's use Force March to make things faster. So, East Tunguska and West Tunguska. I can probably siege four at a time. Oh, what? Loss, inflation. I'm not giving them autonomy. I can lose some of my inflation. Loss, war exhaustion for 40 gold. Yeah, that's an amazing deal. How's my war exhaustion anyway? I can reduce it a bit. Come on, chop chop. Is it still ahead of time? Yep, it is. That's fine. There. So let's split them up. Into four different armies, I suppose. Like this. And we can siege all of that. I could probably carpet siege more than this, but let's not get too greedy. Modena still has some troops. Yeah, they have 20 regiments to the east. Conversion successful. What can we convert? Something without... Oh, I don't have any revolt risk anywhere. Alright. Keep converting then. Oh, also. I think I could use some shed buildings here. Right here. I definitely could. So, trade depot. And back to Modena again. Okay. Oh, also. What? They are coming. Hold on. Let's see. Send some reinforcements in that general direction. This should probably be enough. If they engage me... Wait, where's the general? Yeah, where's the general? Oh, he's here. Right, yeah, I can see it. Alright, he needs to come with us then. Force match this time. 
I'll just move through this province. They can't beat me, even if they decide to attack me. Oh, what? Military leader has died? Really? That was pretty crappy timing on that. But alright. Whatever. We'll get a new one. It's fine. Let's split this in half. They moved east. They aren't going to attack me. Well, they might attack me here, I suppose. Let's just hire that general. So... Right, I need to go back to my territory, so I can't hire a general here. Okay, I can still beat them. At least I should be able to. 16th January. This should be enough. I can't imagine it won't be. Yeah, it should be enough. Let's send some more troops. They are still moving in. There, siege is done. No, they are moving south now, alright. Let's get that general then, I kind of need one. Not the best general of all times, but I'll take him. Better than nothing. Move these guys around. Yep, they still want to engage me somewhere. They are moving around. They want to attack my weakest stack, which obviously makes sense. I would have done the same, but I'm not going to let them do that. For obvious reasons. Off we go, west. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. I got different plans for that. What's this? Lose money, get the early prestige? I wouldn't mind the early prestige. They are not moving anymore. Once I finish that siege, I can go actually engage that stack. They will resiege some of their own provinces, but that's fine. I just want to siege West Tunguska for that mission that I accepted, then I can focus on beating all these armies. There, that's done. It's almost done, 49%. Also, let's check these rebels. There will be some natives in this area. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't want to lose to the natives. I might have to wait for this colony to finish. It's almost done. It's probably best to just wait for that. And then I can move them over to Australia. Right, the siege is done. So let's focus on beating all these stacks now. Yeah, more natives. I'll just wait for that colony to finish. Then I can move them over. Just waiting for the last siege and it's done. Alright. Let's do this. I need to break all these sieges before they get a chance to finish them. That won't be very hard. Where do you think you're going? What's this? No, let's not get absent merchant. The colony is done. Good, good. 6,000 natives here as well. So, transport. And let's go help Australia out. Disembark. Keep an eye on Modena. 39. That's a bit more, but they are still not going to win. Obviously. I think I can get there before they finish the siege. Go back here and kill these rebels. I'll have to resiege that for Australia, I suppose. Keep moving, chop chop, before they finish that siege. There, we win. And move over there. Shouldn't get any penalties. Done. Split them up. And back we go. Conversion successful. Let's convert some more then. Doesn't really matter what exactly I'm going to convert. I got a little bit. Is that what I started converting just now? Katapang. Yes, it is. Alright, let's try something different then. Checking unrest. Yep, that's the same province again. Okay, try a different one. This one. 0%. That's good. Back to Modena. Kill these guys. Oh, that might be a little bit tougher. I need them to move out of there. Yeah, because I'll get minus 2 penalty in that province. So I need to chase them off. AI is a little bit silly with that, fortunately. Well, I did engage them. 
I can still beat them, but I shouldn't have engaged there. There, we beat them anyway. Alright, fine. Let's follow them then. 40% war score. I'll siege a few more provinces. I don't want this war to take too long. But I want to weaken them as much as possible. The more the better. Since this is definitely not going to be the last war between us. That's pretty much guaranteed. Okay. Let's go chase that stack. I could just kill it. Then again, it might be running to the other side of the continent. So let's maybe not do that. We can split up a bit and siege a few provinces. Four provinces at a time. Four provinces close to each other. There, that siege is done. Finish this one. You can thank me later, Australia. Holy Roman Empire. Okay. I don't really care about that all that much. What do you think you're doing? At minus 63%, he won't really finish that. Ever. Speed 4. Also, we have a lot of money. Let's get some more buildings then. Canal again. Down here. Yep, sure. There, how's my share in the shade node? Should be much better now. Yep, 39% now, good. Back to Modena. Modena is pretty much screwed. I could get 100 if I really wanted to. They are coming with some troops. They might try to engage something. I'm okay with that. Nope, they are moving north. They probably want to merge with that free stack or something. That's not going to help you, I'm just saying. And the siege is over. Let's just move back then. Move over here. Hurry up with the sieges, come on guys. Colony is done. Keep colonizing this area. I actually have two colonies that aren't doing anything. Yeah, I do. Oh, they are trying to resiege their territory. I don't think so. I'll finish this four and then move west. Should be done soon. Everything is in the positives. Unless I get really unlucky, which hopefully I won't. And I'll beat that stack. Where was it? Where did that stack go? Oh yeah, it's there. It's sieging. Alright, whatever. Done. Let's move. Merge them first. I could try to get a better leader. I mean, I'm getting a lot of military power per month. So I suppose I could do that. This guy is not exactly amazing. Alright, let's try to... No, that's not really better. That's not better either. These are really bad. And they should feel bad. Okay, never mind that idea. I just wasted 100 military power. I guess I'll stick with that leader. He's not bad. Just could have been better. There, we got Canada now. Go us. Keep colonizing. Go beat that stack already. 43% war score. Did someone just join the war? Or start a separate war? Yep. Ming. Alright. Welcome aboard, Ming. Where are you going? I can't catch them there. Come on. I'll... I don't really want to chase them all the way there. Yeah, not really. I don't want to bother with that. Oh, they are sieging West Tunguska. I need to go defend that then. Before they finish it. Or I'll have to resiege it again. I could just finish this war, I suppose. I can annex quite a few provinces. Let's have a look. What can we annex? I need this. That was the mission goal, right? Oh, it needs to be a claim. Right. Great. I confused these two missions again. Alright. Never mind. I'm still going to annex it. Because reasons. And I could annex all of this. I could annex everything I sieged so far. Alright, let's siege more then. I could just ignore West Tunguska. 
I always confuse these missions when it says claim your rival's province. That just means fabricate a claim. Okay. Not that it's very important, I suppose. Let's get more war score. The more I hurt them, the better. I could try to sort of split them. But that might be tough. I could siege these two provinces and then annex like this. To cut off some of their territory. That would work quite nicely. And I probably want to beat these stacks regardless of their siege progress. And I should drop that mission, I suppose. That was a bit of a useless mission to accept. Conversion successful. Keep converting then. Right. Well, there is siege that stuff. Let's just siege things in this area. I don't have to move around too much. That would be best. And this one. And let them attack me if they want to. I'll just let them finish that siege, whatever. Whatever flows their boat. Just get some territory close to here. Where's that other stack? 23. They are still moving, apparently. That's fine. I want them to merge all these armies. That will make my job easier. So, hey, yeah, do it. Bring that general closer. This way. Maybe I should just engage this stack. Possibly. That's not a terrible idea. Alright, let's just go engage that stack then. I think I can catch it there. Before they leave. Can I? Yes, I can. Easily. No general, but I should beat them regardless. The general can join in. Just in case. Truth expired. Oh, great. 23 stack. Alright, I'll just let them beat that one regiment. It's fine. I'll beat them in just a second. So, let's move all of this. And merge. Yep. I'll just leave. Or I could stay there. Oh, they are going to arrive here one way or the other. Alright, never mind. We need to go there with reinforcements in that case. I can give up that siege progress. It's not very progressed yet. Oh, they stopped moving? Right. I might have to split this in half. Because they will engage something else if I change my mind. Yep, they engaged me here. Alright, let's move. That's going to be a pretty important fight. This guy needs to move differently. Like so. I should be able to win that. They are getting minus one penalty. There, we win. God, and I won't have to sacrifice my siege progress. That's nice. But anyway, this episode is getting a little bit long. So I'm going to finish it here and continue in next part. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.